and mean temperature was also the highest. This year, 1.23 degrees Celsius above normal. India has just recorded its warmest October in 123 years and the effects are being felt across the country. As the temperature refuses to drop and winter's arrival seems delayed, one big question looms. Why are we seeing such unprecedented warmth in October and November? The Indian Meteorological Department reported an average temperature of 26.92 degrees Celsius in October, significantly above the usual 25.69 degrees. Minimum temperatures across the country also hit record highs, staying above 2 degrees warmer than normal. This October heat isn't just a fluke. It's linked to some significant changes in weather patterns. Several factors are responsible for this warming trend. First, a key player in North India's seasonal transition is the presence of western disturbances, weather systems that bring cooler air from the Mediterranean. This year, these disturbances have been largely absent. In their place, warm, easterly winds from the Bay of Bengal have been sweeping across India, pushing temperatures higher. Entire country, except some parts of northeastern states and South Peninsula, we have um, above normal minimum temperatures. And it was quite high. If you just look at it, was about um, 2 to 5 degrees Celsius above normal over the plains of northwest India, west central India, and adjoining areas. If I consider mean temperature, it reflects um, more or less the pattern of minimum temperature. Because of the higher minimum temperature, the mean temperature was higher than normal in major parts of the country, except some parts of northeastern states. IMD Chief Ritenjay Mohapatra notes that low pressure systems in the Bay of Bengal, alongside the lack of western disturbances, are key contributors. So there are two issues here, as I have discussed so far, that um, there was uh, no active western disturbance in the month of October which affected northwest India. So therefore, there was no such rainfall activity. Rainfall was uh, quite efficient, you can say and hence rainfall temperature could not. Usually, once the western distance passes on, the temperature falls by 4 to 5 degrees Celsius. That did not happen. The second point is that in the month, there are five low pressure systems. And out of that, there are um, four depressions and above. Uh, there are four low pressure systems. Out of that, three were depressed and above. One was cyclone storms. So when these type of systems are there, the easterly winds um, propagate, and based on the eastern winds, you get higher than normal temperature. You do not get the low air temperature. For the occurrence of low air temperature, you need northwesterly winds, and that northwesterly winds are weaker over the northwest India and adjacent areas because of the absence of WDs and also prevalence of all these active low pressure systems. And third point is that the monsoon withdrawal itself. Monsoon withdrawal was delayed. Monsoon was de delayed in withdrawal. And 23rd only monsoon withdrawal started. And uh, therefore, the monsoonal flow was prevailing, which does not allow the falling temperature. It's not just India. Countries across Asia have reported record-breaking October temperatures, from Japan to Pakistan. This widespread heat can be traced back to a global trend, warming oceans and atmosphere due to climate change. As global temperatures rise, patterns that once kept regions cool are shifting. So what does this mean for winter in India? With La Nina conditions expected to develop gradually over the coming months, some cooling may occur. However, the IMD predicts a warm November overall, with above average rainfall in many parts of the country except Northwest and Central India. I hope uh, the international community, including Indian scientists, will uh, analyze and find out why the forecast went wrong in the long range uh, about the occurrence of Lanina conditions this year. It is a matter of research and so far uh, some logical conclusion has not come from the research, therefore I cannot share with you forecast of the conditions 
और टूअर्ड्स एंड ऑफ डिसंबर लैंडर कुछ ने प्रपोज सकता है सो लैंडर कुछ जब डिसंबर डेवलप होगा तब तक डिसंबर तक तो इसका कुछ इम्पैक्ट नहीं रहेगा हमारा टेम्परेचर के ऊपर और लारिना कंडीशन में यूजुअली नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया में टेम्परेचर लोअर होता है मगर जब लारिना कंडीशन डेवलप हुआ ही नहीं तब तो अभी लोअर होने का चांस नहीं है इसलिए हमारा जो फोरकास्ट अभी है आपको बताया कि एवो नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर रहेगा और जब डेवलप हो जाए डिसम्बर डेवलप हो जाए तो देन जनवरी में इसका इम्पैक्ट रह सकता है टेम्परेचर के ऊपर मगर हमको स्टडी करना पड़ेगा वेट करना पड़ेगा अभी से कोई कंक्लूजन लेना सही नहीं होगा And as India and the rest of the world experience these changing seasons, it's clear that climate change is rewriting weather patterns. The warmest October in over a century is a stark reminder: if we don't act on global warming, unseasonal heat, delayed winters, extreme weather events could become the new norm. For more news and updates, keep watching Live Mint.